We're standing outside the Las Vegas uh, experience asking people political quest questions about tonight's debate between Donald Trump and Joe Biden, which hasn't happened yet. It's going to be really interesting to see two grown men call each other pedophiles on television. Let's go talk to some people. And maybe you guys can help me with a soda pop when this is over. Oh, sure. No problem. Absolutely. Like misses, when life is like a rocket with no doors, a kite without a string, sometimes either you're the biggest giant in your life or the littlest midget. And the littlest midget will tell the greatest giant in their life, grow up and get your head off the ceiling. Because sometimes when you're your best friend, your worst enemy, you make yourself or you destroy yourself, you got to realize that there's a substance inside of you that says, be free. Outst yes. Outstanding. <laughs> I haven't even asked. I haven't even asked a question yet. <laughs> I'm waiting. Well, thank you very much for that. that. That's very motivational. I feel good. I feel better about myself. That's great. Fantastic. What was your name, by the way? My name is Gerald Vincent Robinson. I go by Doc. Oh, Doc. Nice to meet you. I'm Ryan. This is my buddy Marcus. Uh, oh, hell yeah. So we're asking people today at the uh, at the Las Vegas Experience what they thought of tonight's political debate. Did you see it between Donald Trump and Joe Biden? I did not. However, either. Both sides are politically incorrect, if you ask me. Sure. What do you Absolutely. Think? I think they're both pedophiles. What do you think about that? I think they both can go to hell, actually. I Absolutely. Mean, um, if hell is a real place, actually hell is a human construct designed to trap the human mind. But my intellect is way too powerful for the mortal mind to grasp. But if you look me up on Instagram, Chris TV. YouTube, Look them up. Google, Facebook. Y'all can see I'm really about this shit. Yes, sir. Have, did you catch the uh, debate between Joe Biden and Donald Trump tonight? Yes. Did catch it. Uh, what was the most surprising part about the debate that you saw? A lot. I didn't catch it. <laughs> what do you think about the political movement Black Lives Matter? Horrible. It's a horrible movement. Why is that? Because niggas kill niggas every day. All lives matter. Fuck Black Lives Matter. All right. Okay. Controversial opinions here on the streets of Las Vegas. Thank you so much for talking to me. Did you catch the debate between Joe Biden and uh, Donald Trump tonight? No, I don't watch TV. Okay, good. That's probably a good idea. Because uh, uh, TV is run by um, corrupt people. So they're, they're just after like the, the, the people who run the media are white collared business people. So, I mean... How true can you actually take their words? Um, you know you. Do you know this guy? Um, no, but uh, I sure do. Nice. To my, uh, uh, you know, I don't think people can get me drunk. I drink out here every day. And, uh, yeah, I don't think they can get me drunk. So, for example, if a white supremacist jumps into a Black Lives Matter, they'll try to fuck it up by uh, causing riots and, and shit like that. You know. All right. Well, thank you for talking to us. Have a wonderful day. Good luck with your uh, drunk, getting drunk. Oh, yeah. well, what do you think about uh, Black Lives Matter? It's actually very important, actually. It's actually, the views of it is very important, but the thing is that the, they're not doing at what they say they're doing, because if, they, if that was the case, there still wouldn't be we wouldn't still be fighting ourselves. We still, we still wouldn't be doing a bunch of stuff. So therefore, basically, the whole Black Lives Matter movement, it's really trash to me because, for one, the people that created it are not doing what they're saying. They're, so, they're supposedly supposed to be funding all black colleges, doing stuff to keep black people out of the streets and out of the incarceration system. Okay, but all this millions of dollars that you guys earned for your movement has not been placed towards what you're supposed to be spending on. But thank you for such a uh, profound answer. Thank you for talking to us. Have a great day. Good luck with your, your hugs. Thank you. How do you feel about Joe Biden's promise to America that he'll touch your entire family? <laughs> Come, please try. Please try, buddy. Repetitional, pragmatical bullshit people are dealing with. Uh, Diarrhea of the mouth, people being legends in their mind and making it seem like history is spelled H I S dash T R I. His story, but the story is about, how should I say it? Uh, people want to be happy. It ain't about how much you got in your hand to be wealthy. Uh, in open treasure chest, you, I used to be a printer. Yeah. I love trees. Well, what's your name? Vladimir. Vladimir, are you a Las Vegas uh, resident, I assume? I'm from Russia originally, but I've been here for 29 years. From Russia. Perfect. Just the man I want to talk to. What do you think of the movement Black Lives Matter? Uh, 
the sentiment is right, but they're doing it wrong. You know, they're hurting their own people. They're hurting uh, black people. They're uh, destroying black businesses. Of course, black lives, black lives matter. That's you shouldn't have to say it. You know, I understand uh, police brutality. I understand uh, black people have it. Uh, it's harder for them than it is for white people. You know, I understand. But uh, what was the next question? Was that, that was it. That's all we're asking. We're asking one, one question. I'm Ryan. I'm Ryan. Ryan. I'm, Ryan. I'm, Ryan. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> No. Black people. That's the real story here. Trying to steal my microphone. Somebody, excuse me, officer. I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. My name's Elizabeth. I'm Felina. Well, it's nice to meet you. Um, did you guys happen to check, uh, did you happen to see the uh, political debate today between Joe Biden and Donald Trump? I did not today, no. No. It, it hasn't happened yet. Uh, <laughs> some people have said yes, believe it or not. So, well, what do you think about the political movement Black Lives Matter? I think it's still something we need to keep talking about, especially with Brianna Tyler's case. I think it's not. I don't think that we're done yet. You know, I think there's a lot more room for uh, pushing acceptance towards everyone, but letting the black community speak and have their moment. I agree with that. Definitely. It's still something we should pay attention to. Thanks for talking to us. So have much. a great day, ladies. Thank you. I don't like Trump at all. Why is that? He's, he's pathetic. In what way? Pretty much every way. Okay, I agree. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm just curious if he could, uh, you know, go a little more detail. He, he can't run the country like he runs his ass. Very smooth. You, you transition from politics to, to motivational speeches very quickly. It's very nice. No reason to. Because it's like this. By me being sentenced to life and not getting out alive, and life is spelled L-I-F-E, lasting, infinite, forever, everlasting, Everybody sentenced to life. If God was to tell everybody to get the fuck up out of my house right now, where would they go? We're talking to security outside of Eden. Do you think that man has a very small penis? Almost ever. All right, sure. Do you think either Donald Trump or Joe Biden might be pedophiles? Pedophiles? Yeah, guys that like having sex with children. I don't think so. Well, that's good to hear. All right, thanks for talking to us. Have a great day. I think Trump's going to win. Why is that? Because he's not a politician. Can you expand more on that, maybe? He's not a politician and he don't take shit from the media. What about Jeffrey Epstein? Do you know anything about Jeffrey Epstein? I don't even know him. You don't know, well, no, he's dead now. See, I'm, not, I'm not a politician. The only reason why I vote for Trump is that he's not a politician. The only reason. Did you catch the debate between Joe Biden and Donald Trump? And what do you think? Uh, I think Donald Trump rocks. I think I think Joe Biden is a pedophile. He's been proven it's one. So what is black life really? What happened to being equal? I'm going to tell you about coronavirus, okay? Coronavirus comes and goes. I think Trump's all there is. I don't see any black people here in Vegas right now tonight running around here and they're in poverty. Not a damn one of them are in poverty. I'm native. I'm Native American. The uh, police, you want to call them the, the mass police, that dude down there, he had no right to tell me as an American citizen to put a goddamn mask on. He has no authority. That's the shit that we're, we're following stupid, stupid items. It's dumb. It's frustrating. Define pedophile. Define pedophile. All right, let's uh, let's go over this real quick. This is important information to know. I'm sure uh, you know one just grabs the pussy whenever he feels like it, and the other one doesn't know what one is. So well, I don't in know. that case, Trump wouldn't be a pedophile whatsoever. He just likes women's vaginas. So I mean, that's as long as they're of age. I guess he can grab it when he wants if they're okay with it. What do you think of Black Lives Matter? Let me get let, uh, let's let's ask you that no, question. That's... Black Lives Matter is a um, a tool that could be used for us, but it's really used against us because whatever we try to protest, they make it look like riots. Whenever we try to stand up against ourselves, they make it look like we're the bad guys, we're the bad boons, we're the guys that's going to knock you out. When in actuality, we're the guys that's trying to break free from the system that has been locking us the fuck down. Fantastic. You've had it here, folks. Black Lives Matter from a real living black person. Imagine that, here in Las Vegas. Real living 
God. From a real living God. Thank you for talking to us. Because it's all a point of what they say, the manifestation of uh, metaphysics, where uh, it's like Johnny Uno would say. Or Johnny Uno would say. I don't listen to 2030 oh, 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 and if you can't keep it on the one, all of one, one of many, you can't take anything from one or add anything to one. So you got to keep one real simple. A man, a man of a million good points. Thank you for talking to us, Doc. You guys have a great day. It's nice meeting you. Soda bar. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got money. Can I give you money? I don't have a soda on me. What do you think about the political movement Black Lives Matter? Read my sign. That's all. That's why I came over to talk to you. I think it's pretty prejudiced. In other against words, against who? In other words, they saying Black Lives Matter. Screw all the rest of the. Do you think that's what they're really saying? Yeah, I do. I think a NAACP wrote it. All right. Well, have fun being a sad old man in the streets of Las Vegas.